If you're watching this, you're probably trying to work out how to get data out of a JSON file. So in our particular example here, we're needing to take data out of a JSON file to move it from our Spiceworks help desk system across to our HESC support help desk system. So JSON files are a little bit like CSV files, but there's a difference. OK, so let's start importing some of this data. So we'll click on data in Excel. We'll click on get data from file from JSON. We'll find our JSON file, we'll click import. And now we're in the Power Query editor. So from here we can see the five sections that the Power Query editor has found in our JSON file. The bits that we're interested in really for what we're doing are the tickets and the users. So we're going to, well, we'll take the users first. So we'll click on this list and then we can see that we, uh, we have 14 records in here. We're going to click on to table and then we click OK there. And then there's this little button here. So we give that a click and then we get to see all of the names in the table. Um, so it gets a little bit messy if you leave that tick in there. So I, I find it's better to take that out. Click OK. We've now got our email, first name, last name, role, import ID, etc. So we've got a table there. We're just going to click close and load. And that puts our table of users with our sample users in here. Uh, the data set that we've got in the JSON file in this instance is just a sample set of data, so it's not very big. Um, so let's rename this table, this uh, worksheet. So we'll rename that to users. And then we'll go through the process again. So we'll open up a, a blank sheet. We'll go to data. We can go to recent sources. We can select the little file again. This time we'll select tickets, so we'll click on list. We'll click to table. We click OK. We click this little button again. Take the little tick out, we click OK. So now we click close and load. Again, we we'll rename that, so we'll rename that to tickets. OK, so now we need the comments. Um, at the end of this sheet, there's a comments field. And so we need to go and get the data that would live referencing in that field. Um, so we'll go to a blank sheet. We'll go data, recent sources. Click on connect. We click on tickets. We click to table, we click OK, we expand the columns, and now we need to go across and find that columns, that um, comments field, and we click the button afterwards, and expand to new rows. We click the little button again, because this has changed to record now, it used to say list. So we click the little button again, we click OK, and now it's added our new fields to the right. We can click close and load, and we can see we've got the data in there. In the next video, I'll show you how to take the Spiceworks data that we've got here in this spreadsheet and map it to the structure that's required for HESC, which means that we'll be able to take the data that we took from Spiceworks and make it live in HESC. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, now would be a great time to do that because this is part of a series. Um, we're taking a lot of data from 
our Spiceworks system and we're putting it into HESC and there's lots of steps along the way um, so I'm sharing with you what we're doing at this end to make that happen and obviously subscribe to the channel if uh, if this sort of thing is your thing and um, we'll see you in the next one Thank you.